Hey guys, we're back with the next episode of our Fallout 4 modded playthrough last time. Um, we got the Mila thing. We found Blackbird. Uh, we got the Plasma Gun. So I think what I'm going to do is hit it to Red Rocket first. Um, see about any upgrades I can do. And then get the next cache, because that should be the Ballistics 5 ever. It's either two or three of the cash quests from Pam to get us the fiber, so hopefully after this one we can get it and be done hanging around with them for a minute. But we're at 61% with Deacon, so over halfway. But hey, thanks so much for hanging out and joining me. Let's go. Red Rocket. My ice is gone. I smell so fast in here because it's hot. I guess I should have went to Red Rock before <laughs> starting this episode, huh? That went pretty bad. Let's get good enough CP2, so I need to get more water, so thanks for this. food besides but my <laughs> since we're here we can just get rid of our radiation okay. seems to be growing well and what I do want to do is check out this plasma gun in my power armor. Alright, so the plasma is 97, shotgun is 87, so we can replace the plasma with the shotgun. <laughs> um, we don't need assault. We can replace sweet weapons into go ahead and scrap this stuff for goodies. I'm gonna replace this with this. Um, Old Faithful is still better. This gives me 129.
Let me get a 49. Okay, that's good. Let me check on upgrading that chest piece for sure. Better than what I have on. Just piece, just piece. Thirty nineteen. It is for sure better, and I think it probably weighs less. Can't make this any better right now, and this wouldn't be any better. So let's put on the synth outfit. That's the stuff you can store. Right. 44, 55, 50, 56, 5mm. Plasma, yes. Shotgun, no. We got any more plasma here? Indeed, we do. Alright, get rid of these notes. Then we gotta drop my magazine off. Food's fine. I could use some more food. Besides so death claw steak. I love death claw steak, but I need more food. Oh, there's a the death claw steak. Take that. The rest said yes, we need that. Uh, yeah. You know, chunks I'll take. If I water, I can use some more as well. We don't have any. Find that interesting. Take this thing in play. Alright, drop this other stuff off. This is for charisma. Shotgun, knife, hook. Now we're tough, and now we're getting less heavy. Now let's snap for the rest. And the same. Alrighty. I'm gonna go to Sanctuary right quick, drop my magazines off, and see if they have more water, because I only have like 5 water, and I need at least 10. You know, preferably 15. I mean, I don't need it, but I want it. Me wants it. Okay, you got more water for me? Aid with our water. There we go. So get ten. And then drop off my magazines. I would like them to be in alphabetical order, so take them all. Take them all. This one gets screwed up. Four, three, four awesomes, four grognacks, a hot rider, four living loves, two ma uh, messages, surgical journals, two picket fits, uh, one atomic um, rob coat fun, one ta taboo tattoos, one tails of a junk yard vendor. Mm. Yeah, we got more tails of a junk, junk yard vendor for sure. One stubbles, total hack. We got 
to do the same thing because it glitched out and it gave me another one. So let's get that one. Just like what's his name? Hold on, hold on now. Thurges. All right, let's go to Boston. I'm gonna do Huber's comics. Get that off my list. Gonna get some more magazines. Action there. Oh, we're about to level up again, so that'll be good. Then we're gonna do. The cash, so we can hopefully get Bliss's fiber this episode. Guess I have more snacks. <laughs> Got some chips. Lydia Soltron robot was constructed by Robco and sold to the U.S. military as a frontline wartime combatant. It's fast and deadly at close range and employs a devastating laser at a distance. Some units can even employ stuff technology. Well, rats often travel underground, then burst to the surface to ambush their prey. Looking for enemies. Why are you looking for enemies? Leave them be. We're going this way to Hubert's Comics. Because who doesn't want to visit a comic book store? Am I right? I'm right. <laughs> what does it say? Check out Huber's comics up at Newberry Street store on the ground floor. Ought to be easy pickings. Squatting, I'm good to go. Yeah, they they lie to you, friend. Hefty, hefty, hefty. Don't move. Perfect. You've collected an issue of Unstoppables. Permanently gained plus 1% chance of avoiding all damage from an attack. Visit the uh, Uxron Galaxy. $15. Cheap. Key already and a magazine as soon as we step in the door. Make you nervous, but I don't think we're I'm ready for it. Leveled up. I'm going for some more armor. Says danger, but I don't see anybody.
There's two magazines here, because it's a comic book store. So you ask one as soon as you walk in the door, and then another one towards the end. Guess we're in danger. Another scavenger in here with a note. And Jangles, the moon monkey. Scavenger's note. Can't believe I signed on for this. Who wants this crap? Collectors, the boss says. So who's the fool here? Them or us? You. Because they sent somebody else to get it for him. Thanks, Nose. I really need this feedback. <laughs> Don't need any burnt magazines. Mula. All right, what's going on here? He's gonna like this. None on justice, none on deathly. One on ancient. Okay. Deathly, ancient. Justice. Okay. Got him. Or tracking. August pre-orders. 95% of the pre-orders picked up last month ran out of Grognak twice. Requesting additional copies of Grognak. 102 Grognak, the barbarian lost in the snows of lust. 86 Captain Cosmos, a radioactive spaceman from space. 31 Tales from the Front, the Red Terror. 18 Underground Life Vault Boy Special. 2 Manta Man, Voyages of the Deep. Such in pre-orders. Both the Manta Mans were, weren't picked up. No more pre-orders for Mr. Freely and Dover. The rest of the Manta still in boxes. Putting them in the free bin tomorrow. Can we stop stocking these? Nobody like Manta Man anymore? Got several linkers about Super Shark comic book rumors. Understand Garden at the Barbarian, Heavy the Oaken Crown. 85 Captain Cosmos vs. the Moon Man. 30 Tales from the Front, Someone Must Die. 9 Underground Life, Timmy's Big Adventure. 2 Manta Man, The Shrimp of Doom. New subscribers. Our in store subscription numbers remain dangerously low. We need to start laying on the hard sell. Just remind the customers we do all the work. You just come in and pick up the issues. Oh, and it's five percent cheaper than doing it in a direct home mail order. Fortunately, we have some new su subscribers. Stephen Demianidis, what? Demianidis, Rock the Barbarian, Marcus Poe, Tales from the Front, Verlise, Fam, Underground, Life, Joseph Lottier, Manta Man, Jonah Hartman, Grognak. Kevin Fam, I Dog. Okay. Safe control. No, uh, we can unlock that myself. Where is it? It's over here. I got a key. What was that key for? Come on. Sweet. We gotta go on a nice axe yes. in here. Yeah, we like it. We're still in danger. Ah, this this is the, the keys for. There's nobody in here though. A safe! Another key. Usage. Oh, we got all the graphic keys back here. It doesn't love a graphic tee, especially if you can put ballistics fiber on it. Don't think I won't wear ballistics or a graphic tee every day. Alright, turn this light back off. We're just not losing our danger. Highway to the danger zone. Alright, next floor up. Let's in here. Ooh, you 
scavengers in here. Another scavenger. No, stop hounding me. All right, this time we got a scavenger list. Stuff worth coming back for. Axe. Boss says it's too heavy to bother with, but someone will buy it. Comic books have to be one or two. They're so legible. Always good for a few cap storeroom. Just need someone who can pick the lock. Have to check with Carl. Maybe he can get Ken Standish for the job. Damn monkey keeps creeps me out. Yeah, about that monkey. Just shoot it. There you go. Walking in front of me like I'm not moving this way. If I don't, it get shot. Boof! We got barrels. Yeah, you yeah, really about it. good at this. Too good. You make me do it. We're still in danger. There's more stairs up here. Don't open doors, dog meat, okay? Alright, what we got going on over here? We got an ashtray. All the danger's going down finally. I'm telling you, it's all about the sunglasses. Best 10 cap investment you'll ever make. You bought those sunglasses for 10 caps? Gypped. I'm kidding, I don't know how much sunglasses are. Broke my leg, so rude. You can touch my leg. Oh, you broke my leg. I don't know. Thank you. Nice. <laughs> you sure do a lot of that. Winning, that I'm is. Sick. Okay, found the hunter rifle is what I came here for. They need a hunter rifle. It takes a long time for this much dirt to gather. I was gonna maybe read it. This holotape is in its context of property of Huber's Comrades. All right, reserve. Death becomes you drop 18. Fade in. Title card, Adventures of the Silver Shroud. A cute instrumental theme song. Episode card, Death Becomes You. Narrator, today's episode, Death Becomes You. In title sequence. Title card, Boston 2077. Exterior, Boston Street Night. Newly shot footage of the Boston skyline at night. The full moon lights up the sky. The mass fusion building, the Trinity Tower, are clearly visible. Pan down to the street level. The hustle and bustle of the Boston at night. Cars, people, etc. Interior, the rusty anchor pub back room. Sitting fan spins over the small cart table. Three men, two women, all gangsters still sit quietly contemplating the cars. While the chip sits in the middle of the table, there's clearly a high stakes back in it. This is clearly a high stakes back room car game. Ball Betty. You're bluffing. Crazy Clara. Glad you think so. Okay, fine. I'm all in. Bob Betty pushes all her chips into the middle of the table, making the pile even larger. Actually, Silver Shroud, you all fold. Everyone at the table looks around in a panic. Nobody wa knows where the voice came from, but they recognize the voice as being from the Silver Shroud. No, it can't be. Oh, but it can. The lights go out. Suddenly, the room is illuminated only by the fire from the barrel of a machine gun. It's the Silver Shroud. He appears as if by nowhere and has sprayed the room with bullets. In the flashes, the different gangsters can be seen falling over almost if it's stop motion. The lights come back on, all the gangsters lie dead. The silver shroud stands next to the table, machine gun smoking. He looks directly at the camera and speaks. VD5, death has come for you, and I am its shroud. <laughs> wow. Wild trash. Another turn. Uh, what's this now? Aaron Babowski's terminal, 1014-77. Uh, Evan to Aaron. 
player can't wait. I tried stalling. I tried. I tried stalling her, but things are spiraling over here. Her agent was having dinner with Maxwell over the Derby. No, not good. Claire is still on board. She loves the script. She especially loves the outfit. You got the shots of that, right? Yowza. So I don't care what's going on over there. You need to sign her before we lose her to the Wisemans or someone else. We looked into that Hopkins contract. It's ironclad. The only way she's out is if she walks. Her partner signed up over her rights to Hubris, but she still has hers. If she even thinks of going to a lawyer, you gotta work your magic, Babo. Imagine if we need her approval. Next day. Vivian Odell to Aaron Babowski. Mistress of Mystery Casting. It's come to my attention you've hired Claire Riddell for the role of the Mistress of Mysteries for the show. This is unacceptable. The Mistress of Mystery has an iconic look. She must be a brunette. The Mistress of Mystery is a strong female protagonist, not some damsel in distress. Shannon Rivers has voiced M.O.M. for years and it and is beloved in the Shroud and every other radio drama she's been part of. I know we've had our differences, but this affects more than the Silver Shroud. The M.O.M. and the Unstoppables are big brands. We absolutely must talk before I go on, va on my vacation. Three days later. Peter Shiner to Aaron Babowski. M.O.M. casting. Vivi got a hold of me before she left. I got the photos of Claire. And she's dynamite. Love the alteration of the costume. It still feels like the comic, but more believable. So I'll, I'll back you there, but I'm with Vivi. M.O.M.'s a brunette, period. Her voice needs to be strong. Claire's voice isn't. Can we have Shannon dub over Claire's in post? That's the word, right? That would be the best of both worlds. A couple days later, Tina Hopkins, Aaron Babowski. I quit. Effective immediately, I quit. You can explain to Petey how you lost the lead writer for the Silver Shroud, and after everything Shannon has put up with, if you want to fire her, do it yourself. Manicor has been waiting to hire me for years. Looks like your loss is their game. And then he was drinking himself into a stupor and smoking himself into a stupor because of these notes. And then, seven days later, the bombs fell. Alright, let's heal myself. And let's keep going. More stimmies. And some mintets. Is this is this Aaron, do you think? Must be. What's the sitting there with a the beer? He already had six, he's drinking himself into a stupor, then the bombs fell. Alright, let's see about using Old Faithful. That was supposed to die Where this going guy go Did you open that door? How those TV shows were made? Hell yeah. Got that costume. Deacon, please move out of my way. Okay, dog meat, you're good. Get the silver shot costume. Bingo. He got his gun. These are how radio shows were made. No way they made a TV show right here.
I'm waiting for the heal, in case you're wondering why I'm just looking around and not finding this freaking glowing bull. Where did he go? No way did I kill him. How'd he get down there? Did he fall down there? Oh, weirdo. This guy got knocked all the way down to the bottom floor, pretty much. It's hilarious. Alright. Hidden keeps moving because that room upstairs has some more ghouls in there. Astoundingly Awesome Tales. You collect an issue of Astoundingly Awesome Tales do plus 5% damage with the Alien Blaster, Invasion of the Zayans. And they look exactly like this. So somebody who makes this comic has seen them before. Okay. I thought the ghoul was in here, but they're not. I find that very interesting. Got it. Used among the living. This place reeks. Imagine so, sir. All right. I don't see anybody else, so let's see. Do not try to knock me down this elevator shaft. They're trying to murder me. Check this terminal. Audio controls. Very good. Video controls. Lighting control. Let's do chromatis. For the colors, my man. For the colors. Happy Pride Month, you guys. Alright, let's hit it upstairs. It says somebody else is in here, but I don't know who they are. Chips taste funny. I've been noticing that salt and vinegar chips are less and less available, like different brands. I always look through different brands because, you know, I like sandwiches. I like different styles of sandwich. I like different brands of everything that I eat. There's a different version that tastes different, and sometimes you crave. A specific taste of one? No, never thought of that. Okay, game. Let's roll up. Yeah, these chips aren't good. I'm not gonna be able to eat all of them. I have some Doritos, but I like dip with my Doritos. Like some kind of dip, any kind of dip. Because Doritos goes with everything. It goes with like tuna salad, it goes with uh, like a French onion dip, or any kind of dip really. Queso, guacamole. That's what I should do. Give me some queso. Some good queso, because I got some yesterday, but it was trash. That whole taco place was trash. I'm never eating there again. It's in Florida, so. Okay, game. Thank you, Jade. 
Because it auto saves. If I were a sniper, I'd be there. Or there. Or even there. Nobody actually would really be. <laughs> Nobody cares. Nobody. See the good thing about fast travel? You can fast travel from the top of the roof. As long as you're outside, you're outside. Oh, yep. Uh, it's death. Nope. Nope. Not death. Great. So. Alright. So we took care of that. What are we actually doing? Not, we don't care about the Milo. We care about the DIA. Which is not far from here. So we need to go west. No, east. I don't want to fall into a swamp pond again. But that's where we are. We're by swamp pond. We go to the outskirts of swamp pond. This way. Danger. Common ahead. Keep out. Oh, I was trying to go around, but I guess that's not what was happening. Soon I'm gonna take on the behemoth. Death claws got easier. You want to stop starting stuff? Mind your business? It's me! No hiding. I'm coming. Males up here. Where are my people? Where's my dog? Where's Deacon? This is another way up. Guess that's an no, no, no. I think up these stairs. Alright, who else is up here? Let's go up this way. Oh, there's Deacon. I'm just dead in here. Super mutants. Hey, a bed for the save. Yeah, I think I gotta go up these stairs. He's always getting blown up. Mm 
Where's Deacon? Almost there, almost there. All right, we'll short range. Gunners hang out in here. What the? What? What? Another day and night and day, etc. Et <laughs> Why would there be a bounty on me? There was nine cigarettes in there. Give me a bag. And a water. Okay. Bruh. <laughs> Lost them. I want this one's head. I need this ballistic fire. Here's the cash. Uh, stayed in bed and did what?
crazy. Where's the cash? Oh well, don't see him. Not gonna look that hard. Yep. Alright, I'm gonna go back to the railroad, see if I can get this ballistic fiber before the end of my episode here. If not, we'll check it out next time. Hopefully we get it. Because I definitely need it. I need something I can wear under my armor. So I can get double double. And a good hat too. Your sweet time. Meow. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Do do do. Boop boop ba da. Ba Mr. Game. Well, I'm just gonna end the episode there, and um, let's go around here. I'm gonna check and see. If we got that fiber. Hey, we're up. We're not that far from the railroad, but we're still trash traveling. So, thanks so much for hanging out and joining me. Till next time, you know what I'm going to say. Peace.